Howdy, my name is Daniel. I'm the founder and owner of Mad Love Concepts, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Elgato Stream Deck with Logic Pro. They dropped the X recently, so it's just Logic Pro now. But we're going to go ahead and jump right in. So uh, let's go ahead and start by accessing our Applications folder. We're going to go find the Logic Pro and we're going to control click and we're going to get info. Now from there we're going to highlight the little logo at the top left of that window and we're going to press command C. That's going to copy it and then back in the applications folder we're going to find preview. Let's see they they recently changed the way preview looks now too. So we're going to open it. So now it's up at the top. You can see the word preview. We're going to go to File, New from Clipboard, and there's the logo. So we're going to save it. Uh, you can save it as an HEIC. That's like what it originally wants you to save it as, but I'm going to save it as a ping. Save it as Logic Logo on the desktop. Now I've already done that. I'll just replace it for the sake of the conversation. All right. Now, when I go and minus this out real quick, and here's my logo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring up my Stream Deck. Now I'm going to make a folder. Now I'm going to, right here, I'm going to just drag the icon directly onto it. And boom. Now we've got a Logic Pro folder. We're going to open that folder. And now, open. There we go. Now we're going to do the same thing. Drag the icon onto it. All right, over to the bottom. OK. You can title it if you want to. I don't really want to, so I'm not going to. But if I press the Stream Deck, it'll actually uh, open Logic. Um, and yeah, so now that we've got that, uh, we can open our application from there. And I've went ahead and made a list of um, hotkeys that we're going to program. And if you don't know what a hotkey is, uh, you've basically already used one if you did what I was suggesting at the beginning of the video where you hit Command C uh, and that copied the, the file. That is a hotkey. And so what Elgato has programmed within the Stream Deck is to allow its users to program hotkeys. So even if the, ho uh, the, uh, even if the application you're using isn't directly baked into the Elgato Stream Deck like OBS Studio is. Uh, you can still take your applications and program hotkeys uh, within the uh, application. The only caveat is that the application has to be at the forefront of your uh, computer. So if you are using Logic Pro X, but you open up Safari and Safari is at the front, and you try and use one of the hotkeys, uh, you might end up uh, triggering some sort of hotkey with uh, Safari instead of Logic. And so you probably don't want that to happen. I forgot to put this in the bulk of the content, but if you want to find out what hotkeys are what within Logic Pro, just hit Option K, and that'll pull up the list. And other than that, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to start making folders, and we're going to make four folders. And now we're going to open the first folder, and we're going to create 14 hotkeys. So this one is going to be the basics folder. And we are just going to drag as many as we can in real quick. Alrighty, now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and start programming them. So I'm going to Type in the first one. It's going to be play. 
and we're going to do the observing keystroke method. Just hit the space bar and you're good to go. The second one is record. Observing keystroke, R. Now forward one bar. I'm just going to title it forward one. By the way, sometimes you have to hit the enter button. Otherwise, it gets a little too crowded on the Elgato LCD button. LED button. Okay, so now we're going to do forward eight. And that is shift period. Okay. Now we're going to do rewind one. And that is the comma. Now we're going to do rewind eight. And that's shift, comma. Now we're going to do enable track. So if you're recording your guitar or your vocals, you can just hit enable track and whatever's highlighted in Logic will be ready to record. So enable track and control R. And we're going to do mute. Again, this is for whatever is selected. Solo. S. Cycle. C. A lot of these are actually pretty intuitive to just be able to do without really having to hardwire it into your brain. But... As you'll see, some of these get pretty complicated. So that's K. Back to the beginning. I'm just going to write begin. And that is the return button. And then we're going to do split. In case you are like me and you like to over record your guitar playing, but then you need to cut back 50 measures. Command T. Now join. Is J. By the way, there's another join that is Command J, but I find it uh, better just to do regular old J. Alrighty, so now we're going to move on to our second folder, and that's going to be called Open Feature. Uh, let me go ahead and. Now I'm going to open that, and we're going to drag in seven hotkeys. So let's go ahead and bring in seven. Okay, now let's go ahead and make quick work of this. Preferences, in case you need to quickly uh, change your output, input, configuration. It's command, comma. All right, now we're going to do mixer. It's going to be X. Editor, going to be E, let's see, enter that a couple times, going to do Inspector, it's going to be, you guess it, I, enter that a couple times, now we're going to do Tools, and that is T, who would have thought? Alrighty, now we're going to do library, which is Y. And track automation. I have to enter that a couple times. And that is A. Alrighty, so now we have the third folder, which is going to be create. I'm going to use this folder to make a bunch of track options. So rather than having to 
specify which tracks you want to make each time. You can just pull up the hotkeys and have that ready to go. So we need 10. Alrighty, so the first one is going to be the audio track. And that is going to be Option Command A. And the second one is going to be Software Track. And that's going to be Option Command S. Now it's going to be New Drums. Is you need to make a new drummer. Option Command U. External Instrument. I actually never use this one, but I figure some of you might. And we're going to make that Option Command X. All right, now we're going to do a duplicate track. Doesn't actually duplicate the uh, file itself, but the actual track. So all of the plugins you're using will be duplicated onto a second track and that's going to be Command D. And we're going to do a track folder stack. So I'm just going to name that track stack Shift Command F. Now it's a summing stack going to name that sum stack. Oops, I'm not typing. Sum stack. All right. Shift command G. Now it's going to be rename track in case you want to quickly rename your track. That's going to be shift return. Now we're going to do configure header. What this does actually it allows you to let's go ahead and option T and then I'll show you. So over here configure header allows you to toggle let's say the power button or the protect freeze. I don't use any of those things but it's nice to be able to edit that on the fly. So let's go back to our stream deck. And our last one is import file. And that's going to be shift command I. Alrighty, on to the last folder and that's going to be file. So let's go ahead and click onto it and it only has five hotkeys, so let's go ahead and drag those in. By the way, I always drag it onto the top, but I guess you could drag it up into the middle. Let's go ahead and do that, because my OCD self is having an issue with having four hotkeys on top and then just one in the middle row. So let's go ahead and do the first one, which is going to be the save option. I don't bother with the save as hotkey just because if you haven't saved as already then it will prompt you to do that if you use command s and we're going to do open which is command o so if you want to pull up another file you have uh, close uh, be careful having this one but nevertheless Export as audio, so that would be for your MIDI tracks. Export as audio. And it's going to be Command E. And finally, export all. That is, if you have multiple, and you want to export them all, Shift, Command, Alrighty guys, I have one more tip for you and that is if you want to use the same um, icons and uh, images that Logic Pro does to 
drag into your hotkey commands on the stream deck. Uh, you would uh, control click uh, Logic Pro in Applications and then go to Show Package Contents, click Contents, click Frameworks. And then there are these three files that begin with MA Resources. MA Resources, MA Resources. And within all four of these files, you can go ahead and click on them. Go to Versions, go to A. Then go to resources, and it's going to show you all of the pictures that they use. So here I have my play command. If I wanted to use this particular image for the play, and there it is. It didn't look too good, though. Let's try this sucker. There we go. That's better. Now, um, I wish I could package this all and give you the images that correspond to each hotkey command, but quite frankly, in the user agreement, it prohibits anyone from repackaging the images for clip art. So uh, I, all I can do is just show you where that is. And anyway, that's been it for me. If you like this video and you have... Uh, <laughs> all righty, that is basically all I have to share with you. I hope this guide has been useful to you. Otherwise, I have no idea why you're still listening. But if you've made it this far, I also make the smartphone direct input, which is designed to connect your microphone, line instrument, or mixer directly to your smartphone and camera. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the video and a website URL in the description. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you love this video, please hit the subscribe button. I've enjoyed our time together, and I understand it's time for you to go, but I know you'll do wonderfully, and I will see you on the horizon.